I guess it was about nine or 10 o'clock that night, my wife heard me hit the floor. They demanded I go to the hospital. And I sat there for five or six hours. About five o'clock that morning, they said, the doctor, he's on his way. I said, well, if he ain't here in 30 minutes, I won't be here. I'm going to Morgan now. We're playing Maryland today. For my dad, for our family, West Virginia football is life. I've been a lot of different places in the United States, and I've never seen people that work harder than people from West Virginia. They give 110% in everything they do, and when they come and watch their football team on Saturdays and they get that kind of effort from the football team, they connect with it. I just love the Mountaineers. Started probably when I was in Vietnam, when I really got into West Virginia football. I watched the 69 Peach Bowl on the Armed Forces Network. So when I come home, I started trying to make arrangements to get tickets to come up here to the games. My dad hasn't missed a home game since 1975. He has never missed a game in this new stadium that opened in 1980. We are at the location of the old Mountaineer Field. In 75 was the pit game. I had tickets for the game and I thought, well, you know, I'll just stay home and watch this on, on TV. West Virginia had the ball, it was tied. Four seconds on a stop clock. Holy mackerel, can you believe this? And McKenzie kicked the field goal from this end right here to the uprights at that end of the stadium. McKenzie kicks it. It is long enough. McKenzie kicks it. It is good. The ball game is over. What a mob scene. You haven't seen anything like it. I'll tell you right then, I said, I'll never miss another home game as long as I live. I grew up as this being the most important place that, that I went to through my whole life, and my kids did too, so obviously with my dad starting all this, we all come together here, and, and it's just, this is our place. Really, they have kept me going because when my wife died, I was ready to quit. I just didn't want to do anything. But y'all kept me going, you kept me, picked me up. It was a big void in my life when I'd come up here the first game without her. It was really tough. He was very depressed when she died, and I think he would have given up coming to the games. But I talked to him, and I said, well, look, this is our thing. This is the only thing we really do. We just stuck together with it and, and pushed forward and kept on coming. I start rolling back memories, you know, and I tear up pretty good, you know. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool. They come to uh, Mountaineer home football games for 43 straight seasons, starting this 44 season. That's pretty amazing. Coming to West Virginia, well, it was so similar. It's so similar where I grew up in Kentucky, yeah. and the passion the fan base has. It's important, and it means something. In a way, we are shamed by the things we have done. The saying here is, once a mountaineer, always a mountaineer, and every person that leaves here, they'll tell you that. My name's Terry Keenan. My golden blue will never fade.